Hello everyone, I've got another subwoofer box design for you today. This time it's for two 18 inch subwoofers. This one was designed specifically for the Sundown 18 inch ZV5 subwoofers. It comes out to be 14 and one quarter cubic foot volume in total with those subwoofers mounted in it. And with those subwoofers mounted in it, it came out to be tuned at 29.7 hertz, according to WinISD, at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's about 14 and three quarters or 14.8 cubic feet without any subwoofers mounted in it. So if you were to run your subwoofers inverted, it would be about that size, maybe tuned a bit lower. Uh, like 29 hertz, not much difference, maybe 28 even. But for the subwoofers it's designed for, it's tuned at 29.7. And with the way this box is designed for them to be mounted in, it's tuned at 29.7. Uh, the only compromise to this box is that the, ports, um, the port area is not big enough for these subwoofers per se. It's about half the size it should be, so the velocity of the air coming out of here is going to be quite fast. Uh, but that's why I made this chamfered edge here around the port to try to allow some of the air to more smoothly roll off and not create noise. Um, I think this box has some cool features, such as that it's got these little braces here for the left and right side. Every corner is shored up with a corner brace 45 degree piece. And also that it's got this nice wedge on the back wall to help direct that air pressure wave through the port. Um, I'll show you here, it's got a... It's got a double baffle if I can if I can get these up here and this is what it would look like sitting in the back of your car if you were looking back at it, it looked like this not too special this side looks this side looks way cooler with that port <laughs> um, but anyway this is a free box design for the most part you got to figure out how to put it together yourself but I will run through it quick for you so first thing of course is to cut out at least the rectangular shape of both of the top baffles and get them glued together with a lot of wood glue i usually screw the double baffles together while the glue dries at the very least a lot of the time i leave most of the screws in unless i take some out that need to come out um, so do that and then you can cut your holes before or after you put your layers together. It doesn't really matter as long as your cuts are good. You can do it beforehand. Um, I like to do it afterwards, but it doesn't matter. Then, of course, cut out the rest of your parts here and start assembling. I would put the base on the ground and then put on probably one of these side pieces, then the back, then the other side, then one of these front pieces, then the other front piece, and then I would put this um, little chamfer of the port in on each side. Then I would have to attach these, these round over brace things for the ports onto the port pieces, then put them in, and then put my my um, port brace pieces right here in. Then I would put in all of my corners and the braces here and here and this wedge. And then of course, just put on the baffles. Then I'd be done. Um, for attaching the baffle, sometimes I'll use really big construction screws. Um, sometimes I'll use just like two and a quarter inch, um, cabinet screws, but I do not ever can use drywall screws. Don't use drywall screws. <laughs> Those suck. Um, but anyway, it's free design. Go ahead and use it. Just if I find out you're making a whole bunch of money making these or selling the design, I'm going to be mad, but anything else. If you're just bumping in the back of your car, 
I'm cool with that. If you want to modify the design, the free CAD file will be in with the files on archive.org. Will I have these uploaded? You get all the cut sheets and um, yeah, that's about it. Have a great day. And uh, if you make the design, please shoot me a video of it. I would love to see it, but you don't have to, but I'd love to see it. All right. Have a great night or day. It's night here. Have a great, awesome time.